We are talking with Julie Doughty from the West Infirmary in Glasgow, Scotland, discussing adjuvant Herceptin and why patients don't receive it. Thanks for spending some time with us. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. So what was the aim of your study? And the aim of this study was to look at reasons why patients were not receiving adjuvant Herceptin in several centres in the UK. And it was based on a study that we had done previously uh, when Herceptin got its adjuvant licence and we were using it, we found that almost half of the patients who were eligible to receive adjuvant Herceptin didn't actually receive it and so we wanted to really find out the reasons why that was. What were the outcomes? Well, what we found was that in all the centres, uh, between 20 and 50% of patients were not receiving adjuvant Herceptin. And the main reasons for this were either people had comorbidity or they were elderly, but by far the major reason was that patients who were considered to be low risk, so node negative, small cancers, they were not receiving adjuvant Herceptin despite being uh, HER2 positive. So what are the implications of your study? Well, I think the implications are that for patients who are elderly and unfit at present, we can only give adjuvant Herceptin following chemotherapy, so we clearly need to find other ways um, of giving adjuvant Herceptin, maybe with an aromatase inhibitor. And I think the second thing is that uh, patients who are considered to be low risk, uh, there is a question, is any HER2 positive patient truly low risk? And I think that needs to be looked to in, in greater detail and it might be difficult to do trials because the number of these patients are very small, but it's certainly something that we need to look into in the future. Julie, thanks for sharing uh, the details of your study. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Julie Doughty from the West Infirmary in Glasgow, Scotland.